why a lot of debate is happening on twitter about why nishal shetty or his team uh, would store 46% or 50% of the reserves in one mult- uh, in one wallet you know and before that if you could explain multi sig wallet also to the audience so perfect perfect so see uh, uh, it is always people want to reduce the single point of failure right there is just one password and then then the password gets leaked there is always an issue so you try to break the password into multiple shards right so i think you'd all have heard that story there is like four thieves who steal something then they give to a old man for possession and they say that only when all four of us come to you only then you should give that asset right if any one of us two of us or even three of us come to you you should not give me the uh, give us the asset you have to wait for all four to come and ask only then you have to give back the asset multisig is something like that right you break one password into multiple parts and you also set a logic you say that i break it into five parts and i need two keys out of five or three keys out of five or four keys or all five keys are required so you can make any so m out of n people use this formula uh, n can be any number you can even make 50 shards right and m can be any number less than 50 it could be 50 49 48 47 right so the higher the number of shards that are required we assume it is slightly more secure right so wazirx had six keys right six shards right one was with liminal and five was with wazirx right this kind of system why wazirx might have chosen is so even if liminal being like uh, they are a, a three year old company wazirx is like a seven year old company so they thought even there is a mishap from liminal side if their key is compromised or if they lose that keys still they have five keys right and i think the system required four out of six right so even if liminal is completely compromised or they lose the keys customer assets would be safe right from that point of view this choice was valid but on the other hand uh, uh what to say keeping all the assets in one single location and frequently using that wallet right see why why do you call something as a hot wallet hot wallet is one is like a purse right you open it every half an hour one hour try to make payments to your uh, shop buying cigarettes chocolates right you pay the metro fare or you pay the taxi guy so every time you open take the purse out there is always a small risk that you might miss the purse or someone steals your purse right so cold wallet by logic it is something like your bank locker how often do you access your bank locker once in a year two times in a year or like once in a month or only when there are occasions like you have a special family occasion a wedding is coming then you go retrieve the jewels use it and then keep it back right a cold wallet should have minimal access right so so this is one thing right so there are see for example geotest we use a uh, bitgo cold wallet so bitgo cold wallet what happens is we hold zero keys all the keys are held by bitgo and bitgo provides 250 million dollar insurance right so because it's completely in their control right there is no, no compromise that can happen in our end so they do video calls they do multiple identity checks for processing any withdrawals and they do white listing and and there are daily limits so no matter what happens from our side the assets are safe and that is the reason why they are also able to protect, provide insurance see we are see all these solutions that we are talking about right this have come up in the last 3 4 years and still we are a massively evolving ecosystem right right now we have defi staking right you want your custody solution provider to provide these so the more complexity that comes in right the higher the surface of attack if it is very 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 simple like a paper wallet if you keep your password in a paper right it is safe from everyone and it's an extremely simple step right but when you make it complicated you store it you make it to multi sig you have a smart contract that operates right so all those things complicates and you don't know in which angle the attack will come right so so, so these are some of these things right so uh, in hindsight they could have done better right so there is always right everyone would do 90 percentage 95 percentage 98 percentage 99 percentage 99.99999999 percentage there is no 100 percentage security you saw la- last month uh, this month trump getting attacked right uh, a future president almost uh, saved by like few inches right so there is always a slight risk that is there right but you do as much as possible to reduce the risk so assume you will get hacked right so what do you do you try to ensure that all the assets are not in one place they are in multiple places at any point of time uh, well diversified and with different people having those access right so if this system is compromised still you are left with 80% of the asset if that, that system is com- com- compromised you have 80% of the asset you reduce that risk by diversification 
this is all as uh, the same thing as investment right you don't put all your eggs in one basket you don't just have bitcoin or just have mutual funds you try to have real estate gold crypto equity so the same process applies in security also you try to diversify and the threat right there is a huge bounty right 230 million dollars right 2000 crores right how many indians hold that kind of money right someone is willing to spend 5 years 10 years to break that wallet because once he does it he is going to have 2000 crores right so uh, so there are people who are going to be targeting you uh, continuously so there is also something called rotation of keys right you don't keep using the same keys every few months or every few weeks i mean it depends on how much paranoid you are you rotate those keys so if you start talking about this because say, so to protect 2000 crores there are 10000 things you can do right there is no end to it you have a strong firewall in place you have physical access to the keys you keep the keys in a in a proper vault right you see all those mission impossible movies so true. so quite true so so there is there's no limit to how much secure you can be so wazirx has done multiple things right right they have ensured that the keys are in multiple geo locations not in the same location right they had an approval process in place but the korean hackers were very very smart right they un understood the nature of how they operate they understood the nature of uh, the nosis implementation safe wallet how it works so they didn't actually compromise the wallet directly right they didn't hack the funds they first made them upgrade the smart contract and then use the smart contract to sweep all the funds right so bitcoin this couldn't happen right bitcoin doesn't use smart contract right that is the power of simplicity right so you saw all the other wallets were kind of said they they of course they attacked the biggest wallet that was there which is ethereum right uh, i am surprised that they couldn't use it same thing to attack bsc or bitcoin right yeah yeah